Fuck you, Disney. What's up, guys? My name is Glassfoot, and today I am not doing a movie review. As many of you recently know, this week released Tenant and on Disney Plus, Mulan. Tenant is actually a fairly good movie, and I would say go watch it if you haven't. Though, be very safe, and if you do not want to go to the movie theater right now, I totally understand. Not your fault at all if you do not wish to go. But as a random ass movie reviewer on YouTube, I have to put out a video about Mulan. But I do not have Disney Plus, and I refuse to watch this new version of the movie. Because I am sick as shit of Disney's live action remix. With the last one that came out being Maleficent Mistress of Evil. It's like Disney was like, huh, well, people hated the fact that we took one of the best pure evil villains that we've ever written before and turned her into a good guy. Let's make her sympathetic for some reason. The villain of that movie's motivations do not make sense on their own. Maleficent's motivation to protect her daughter, who she is supposed to hate in every other version of this fucking story. If you cannot tell, I did not like Mistress of Evil. I do not like the first Maleficent movie either. I do not like Cinderella. I do not like The Lion King. I do not like Dumbo. I do not like Aladdin. I do not like any of the live action movies that have come out that I have sat through and watched because they all feel like slower, worse versions of the original animated classics that they are trying to remake. And you know what? I don't have a problem with remakes. I don't have a problem with remakes just in general. The whole reason I don't have an issue with remakes is if you do the remake right, it can be better or just as good as the original movie. And then I just have another version of the story that I love that I can watch. Seriously, I love both versions of True Grit. I think they're both entertaining as hell to watch. Depends on what I want. If I want a more campy Bruce Wayne movie, I watch the campy Bruce... That's not his name. John Wayne. If I want a campy ass John Wayne film, I watch the campy John Wayne movie. If I want a more like book accurate, gritty version, I watch the one that stars f the fucking dude. I have two different variants on this thing that I can watch and guess what? I enjoy both of them because they're both really good. Same with the Karate Kid. I have two different versions of the movie that I can watch. I personally enjoy the first one a hell of a lot more because I grew up watching that one for a while before the 2010 remake came out, but I still like the version with Jaden Smith. Though I have an issue, why is it not called Kung Fu Kid? They're not even doing karate, they're doing Kung Fu. What the f- Sorry, I did karate for like nine years and that's something that has always pissed me off is that the fact that it's Kung Fu, not karate, but they're calling the Karate Kid. Just <sighs> That is not the point of this video. Disney has managed to tap into a market that saddens me. The market of nostalgia. In 2013, when Disney remade Cinderella, they found that they managed to tap into a gold mine known as the market of nostalgia. Everyone knows the original Disney version of the film. Everyone knows how the animated version goes. So they were like, huh, I wonder what this updated version will have and what that will give us. It gave us nothing, in my opinion, and actually lessened her character overall. Because as opposed to putting our main heroine, Cinderella, in the situation where she literally would have no escape, instead, sh her father dies when she's 18, she's a fully free person, she's allowed to leave her house, whatever the hell she wants, to go do whatever she wants, and she's met the prince on several occasions prior to the ball, yet she never tries to leave and like get a job as a maid at the castle or something. Also, at the end of the film, when the stepmother locks her in the attic to prevent the prince from finding her so that the prince will not marry her, she just accepts her death. Unlike in the original animated version where she bangs on the door, she fights, she gets the animals to help her get her the fuck out so she can make it to the prince and marry him. But for some reason, people seem to fucking enjoy the shit out of that fucking version of the story. I don't understand, nor do I know why, nor will I ever understand why the hell people were drawn to a crap version of the first story. And then when the same thing happened with the Beauty and the Beast remake, where 
everything that is good about the original was taken out for the remake and pointless shit was added into the film. Now, I'm not saying there weren't beautiful parts of the live action remake, there were. There was some gorgeous imagery in it. Actually, one of the better songs was the Beast song when Belle is leaving. I actually enjoyed that. But you added this element into the film that was this book that could just teleport you anywhere, but you still make her do the ride into town to save my dad thing on the horse, despite that you have this teleportation element to it? The fuck? You add something that could actually have changed the story and made it interesting, and you don't use it for the sake of recreating shots from the animated version? Shots that don't even look half as good, because the animated could go ham with the colors that it wanted to! So... I decided that I am not going to watch Mulan unless a friend of mine has Disney Plus and they happen to wish to watch it while I am around and I say fuck it let's go because I am drunk or something. I do not wish to view that movie sober. I do not wish to view the remake of Mulan pretty much at all because apparently they are trying to tell the true story of Mulan. The only problem, you have a magical witch in the movie, so it is not the true story of Mulan. Also, fun fact, the original story, original, the Chinese version of the story, ends with Mulan coming home, finding out that her father is dead, her mother has remarried, and the emperor has summoned her to be one of his concubines, so she offs herself. In the original version of Mulan, Mulan dies. So unless you're going to give me a version of Mulan where that all happens, fuck you, do not remake the goddamn movie. Okay, that would be a little bit dark for a Disney movie, especially if they were to, you know, kill off a character like Mulan. But one of the things that I love about the original Mulan is the fact that it plays into the fact that she's a woman. She has to hide the fact that she is not a man for a majority of the film. And at the end, she is not trusted by most of her former companions when she tries to convince them, hey, the Huns aren't dead, they're coming here, we have to stop them. She gets a Ignored. Initially, she's only able to convince the three men that she helped directly save on multiple occasions throughout training and in that fight with the Huns. And she only convinces Shang... Her love interest from the original, the bi dude. She only manages to convince him after the three of them agree to help her. This is where I draw my biggest issue with Disney's remakes. The elements that they pull from the original sources, their movies, are the elements that make you recognize the story as a whole. And yet, they leave out the elements that make you care, that make you want to come back to the movie over and over and over again to keep witnessing what's happening, what will occur, what will happen to these characters. And for me, that's a fucking shame because Disney, when I was a child, were my favorite movies, full of wonder and excitement, entertainment. They're some of the things that got me interested in filmmaking, just in general. Peter Pan, Mulan, Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, Aladdin. These movies were inspirations to me as a child. They helped grow my imagination, helped me understand what the fuck good storytelling was and how to enjoy it on a much higher conceptual level than I ever would have without them. And to see a company that I love just fall back into the nostalgia bait by making movie after movie that is just a slower, more boring, less entertaining version of movies they've already put out and have existed for years makes me so fucking sad and it makes me so angry. This isn't going to do anything. They're a company first and foremost and they want to make money and they know the way to do that is with nostalgia bait. And I am very sad to say that but I understand it and there's nothing I can unfortunately do about it. That's the way the movie industry works now and I can't change that. But I would love if Disney would listen to me. Listen to the fans, listen to the critics of your movies, and my hope, movie going audiences learn and they've stopped going to them. Fucking Lion King for the most part was panned by a lot of people because it is just a slower, more boring version of a movie we've already seen and existed for over 20 years by the point they remade it. And so 
that is why I would like to sincerely say, fuck you, Disney. Fuck you for falling into traps of nostalgia bait. Not making movies to inspire people, to make people critically think, and to enjoy the movies that exist that make people want to become filmmakers and inspire them to do amazing, amazing things. You're still putting out good stuff. The Mandalorian is a perfect fucking example of this. It's such a good show, but you fell into this trap with Star Wars by trying to make them blockbuster movies, which isn't what they are. They are experimental science fiction masterpieces that are so much fun to watch because it had to make over 200 effects for the original trilogy. They are three of my favorite movies of all time. Not because they are masterworks in these great blockbuster action pieces, but because they are entertaining and well-told stories that just inspire the imagination. And when you try to make Star Wars a blockbuster, it doesn't work. When you make movies that were animated so they had this high energy and fast paced motion because that's how the animation medium works high energy you can go crazy with stuff have characters move in ways they never would be able to in real life have their facial expressions go fucking insane and it can look like the most beautiful thing because you are not bound by the laws of this reality. When you take those animated films and put them in live action with these dull, dull ass atmospheres in these dull environments that don't inspire imagination, you are doing a disservice to the original films, to every fan of those movies, and to every modern day moviegoer that will potentially see your films. And I would, for one, would love to see it stop. I would love to see movies get made that are original, that have inspiring things. And you're on the right path with Pixar. Fucking Big Hero 6 was phenomenal. And while it was based on a comic book, it was still had a number of original ideas. Soul looks amazing. Coco was one of your best movies in recent me memory. Moana's fucking phenomenal. Please, with your... Pixar, you are going in the right direction. Please take the main company back. Otherwise, I'm going to have to continue and make more videos like this, or I'm going to have to continue to say, fuck you, Disney. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video, this rant about Disney's current state that I'm specifically making in response to their release of Mulan, though this might get released in a couple of days from when I'm filming this. I don't really know that because, um... I didn't film this early, because I'm a dumbass. Anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, links to both my Twitter and my Instagram are going to be in the description down below, as always. And with that, I hope that you guys have a fantastic day, and as always, peace out, guys. <laughs> <laughs>